I don't like being sick. Achoo! Well, at least I can watch the complete Darby Show 9 in one video. Achoo! Wow. Mom and Dad, y'all have been to some amazing places, and you take great pictures. Yeah, they're really cool. That's life of a professional photographer. Honey, you better get going or you're going to miss your flight. No, we don't want to do that. So where are you off to this time, Dad? I guess you'll just have to wait and see. But I do expect y'all to be responsible while I'm gone. Oh, come on, Dad. You don't have to be worried. Aren't I always responsible? Let's just say I'm not worried about Chloe, okay? Dad, I'm hurt. Be good, Sophie. Mom, is there anything I can do for you? No, everything's fine, hon. Thank you. Okay. Well, only 29 more days, 23 hours, 58 minutes, and 40 seconds until Dad comes back home. No, make that 36 seconds. 35, 34, 33. Sophie, I hope you don't intend to count down every second until he comes back home. Well, maybe not every second. I do plan to sleep some of the time. Why don't you find something constructive to do? Good idea, Mom. I am so on it. Shh. Say goodbye to those dishpan hands. Shh. Uh, why is there nothing on TV? No teeny tiny cutesies? No Olympics? Just hours and hours of commercials. <gasps> Dad didn't like commercials either. Daddy! Woe is me. Woe is me. Not this again. Are you going to be okay? I'll be fine in 29 days, 17 hours, 53 minutes, and 3 seconds. Do you want to talk about it? No, no. I'm just going to get back to my marathon of commercials. Well, I'm here if you need me. Have you been watching TV all day? What else am I supposed to do? Watching TV is not a constructive use of your time. But mom, I just learned that you can use baking soda to clean your toilet and your teeth. Well, that's good to know. What I meant was, why don't you find ways to enrich your life and the life of those around you? Like how dad enriches our lives when he takes us fishing? You all will go fishing when he gets back. Hey mom, I'm heading over to the animal center. Now that's a great idea. Chloe, why don't you take Sophie with you? Sure! But Mom! Go on, you'll enjoy it. Sophie, I'm gonna clean the hamster cages. So why don't you feed Spock? Spock? Ah! Ah! I'm being attacked by aliens! Ah! Uh -huh. Sophie, uh -huh. calm down, you're gonna scare Spock! Scare him? I'm the one he's using as a scratching post. Aw, he's just a little iguana. Little? He's huge! Nah, Spock's just a baby. Tuvok is twice his size. I'll go get him! No, no! I've had enough of your lizards from outer space. Chloe, I, I just can't do this. I don't see how you can be so happy when Dad is gone. Well, sitting around feeling sorry for myself isn't going to bring him back any faster. So I stay positive and keep myself busy. This way, when he comes back, I have lots of great things to tell him. Wow, that is a great idea. Chloe, I'm on my way to the animal park, and I thought I would pick up the petition. What petition? I'm trying to get everyone together to save the animal park. The city wants to turn into a parking lot, and I'm helping to spread the word. Do you mean the park where Dad takes us fishing? Yeah. Well, not on my watch. Where's that clipboard? Here it is. I already have a few names. Well, sign me up. Great! Shh. Let's recycle and be green. This place is great. I don't see how anybody could want to replace all of this with the parking lot. That's why it's up to us to get the community involved and save the park. Okay then, let's get started. Hey you! Sign my petition to save the animal park! What? You don't like cute fuzzy animals? We need you to sign this now! I said now! We need to save the animals! Sign 
this. Sign it. Oh, would you just sign it already? Doesn't anybody care? Sophie. What? Not like that. Oh, well, how are we supposed to let everybody know about the park? You have to do it gently. We're trying to get in to save the park, not run from it. Watch this. Hey, Nefra, isn't it a beautiful day? Well, of course it is. The sun rises for me. Did you know the city wants to turn the animal park into a parking lot? But I have a photo shoot here next week. Natural lighting is the best lighting. I refuse to be photographed under fluorescence. Then you should sign our petition. Absolutely. Wow, Chloe, that was amazing. Thanks. Now if we can only get everyone else to sign it. What we need to do is find a way to get everybody together so we can tell them all at the same time. What is all this noise? Carmen, did you hear about what's going to happen to the park? Of course I have. Daddy is the president of the planning committee, and he tells me everything. You know, he's talking with the contractors right now about putting a big playground right in the center of the whole thing. It's going to be our big attraction. But the playground would be better in the animal park, like under the shade of a big oak tree. Nobody cares about that little park. Yes, they do. Look at all the names in our petition. Look, I'm sorry, but you're going to need a whole lot more than that to keep Daddy from bulldozing that park. Chloe, what if we could show the committee that we could have the playground without destroying the park and that the community cares? Yeah, we can do an event, like a fundraiser, to get enough money to build a green playground? Exactly, and I have the perfect idea. We could have a concert right in the park, starring yours truly. Puppy, why you smell so yucky every time you... No, no, that's all right, Sophie. We don't want to strain your voice or anything. I was thinking more of like a bake sale. Ooh, like make pies? Yeah, or homemade bread. Can anyone buy the pies? Say like, uh, me? Sure. It will be open to everyone. So, what kind of pies did you have in mind? Sophie, focus. Oh yeah, right, sorry. Make bread, sell it, save park, eat pies later. Sophie, I need you to find more volunteers, and I'll go find a place to have the bake sale. We have a lot of baking to do. Roger that. Shh. What's the game plan for today? Well, I'm just gonna finish up these posters, and then go and find us some volunteers. Sounds great. I'm heading over to the park. I think I can get a few more names in the petition. Plus, I still need to find a place for the bake sale. All right, so you want to meet back here around lunchtime? Sure. See you later. Imagine a world where cute little fuzzy bunnies have no burrow to call their own. No wild carrots to nibble upon. No grassy green meadows to frolic through. Oh the sorrow. But there is a light, a shining beacon of hope, and it's you. For you have the power to make a difference, to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. So are you with me? Hey Jade, what are you up to? Oh nothing, I was just getting ready for cheerleading tryouts. Do you want to come over and help with this bake sale we're having to save the animal park? Sure, I'll help. Great. Be at my house around lunchtime. Oh, and bring a big bag of flour. Lemonade! Get your ice cold, lemonade! Hey, Jackson. Do you have a moment? Sure, Chloe. What's up? I was hoping you would let us borrow your lemonade stand for a bake sale having to save the animal park. Oh, of course. Because without the animal park, I wouldn't have any place to put my lemonade stand. So whatever you need, just let me know. I'll help you any way I can. Well, if you're not busy, maybe you can help us do some of the baking. If that's not asking too much. No, not at all. Great! Listen up. We have trespassers on our territory. There's another group out there claiming to be green and starting a campaign to save the animal park. 
and we are gonna take that project over because we are the one and only green team in town. So I guess we're all here. This is it? Well, it's kind of hard to convince people to do manual labor for free. Sorry, Sophie. This will be fine. I know we can make this work. Done. We did it. Wow, that is a lot of bread. But wait a minute. Where are the pies? Did anybody make pies? Let's pack everything up and take it over to the park. But wait a minute. Where are the pies? How's everything going? I can't believe we've been here for three hours and not a single customer. I can't believe no one made any pies. Sophie, didn't you put the posters up? Yeah, I put them everywhere. At school, the cafe. I didn't see any at the cafe, and I was just there. That's because we took them all down. And why would you do that? Because we're the ones that are going to save this animal park. And not you. Venus, what are you doing with them? What? Luna? Sky? I'm trying to help save the animal park. Then you better drop this losing team and come with us. The green team. The real green team. Look at them. They can't even call themselves green. I bet they wear retail. <gasps> Wait a minute, you said that like it's an insult. Cause that's how I meant it. Do you have any idea how much pollution the fashion industry dumps on our planet? Uh... No, I didn't think so. That's because you're a bunch of litter bugs. No, bugs are too good for you. Your litter flies. Oh no you didn't! Jade! What? Flies are disgusting. Do you know what they eat? Look, we're out of here. You coming, Venus? Sorry, guys. See you later, litter flies. <laughs> wow. I know, right? Chloe, Sophie, Daddy and I thought we would just drop on by to see how things are going. And by the lack of the crowd, I would say not so well. Well, thanks, Carmen. We really needed that. Sophie! What? I'm just saying. Well, I do admire what you all are trying to do. But the fact is that everyone at the city council is excited about the idea of a community playground. No one even cares about that parking lot anymore. But one way or another, this animal park is going to see some changes. But I do regret that you all have been unsuccessful. This park is special to me as well. While I remember bringing my girls here ever since they were knee high to a grasshopper. When my Carmen was two, she was about to squat right over there. Daddy, there is no need to charge down memory lane with the people I go to school with. I'm sure they don't want to hear about such trivial things. Actually, I find it all quite interesting. Well, perhaps another time. Daddy and I must be going. Goodbye, ladies. Come on, Daddy. There you are, girls. Hey, Mom. I can't believe I failed. Chloe, I know this whole concept is new to you, being a seasoned veteran myself, and seeing how you've always been great at everything you do. But don't think of this as a failure. Think of it as learning what not to do. Like, don't make more bread than your sister can consume if people are going to steal your posters for a bake sale. Right. Girls, I'm sorry to hear about your day, but maybe I have something that could cheer you up. Follow me. Surprise! Wow! What? Get out of here! This is just like Beatrice's room from Eating Light! Uh-huh! Oh yeah! What's wrong, Chloe? You don't like the room? No, Mom. It's great, really. I just can't stop thinking about those poor animals. And all the people that love the animal park. I mean, look all the names on the petition. Oh, sweetie. Hold on. I'll be right back. Look! 
We even have that little pink thing hanging above the bed. Love it. Love it. Love it. Books? Eh, whatever. I love this room. Girls, it's your father. He's doing video call. Hey, hey Dad. Dad. How's my girls? Do you want the long version or the short one? Well, let's start with the short version, okay? Well, we've been working hard to save the animal park, and our plan just didn't work out. Okay, so what do you plan on doing next? I don't know what else we can do. Look, girls, life is going to often put obstacles between you and your goals. What you need to decide is, are you going to put in the work to find a way to get around them? Girls, I love talking to you, but i got to get ready to go. Uh, check your emails, and I'll send you some pictures, okay? All right, love you. You know what? Dad is right. Tomorrow is a new day and another chance to try again. That's my girl. Does that mean we're making more bread? Well, all right, but there better be pies this time. Wanna do a shout out? Yeah, but what's the time machine doing out here? I don't know. Let's just do a shout out. Who's using the time machine? Hey girls, I hope those rooms are clean. Mom? Shh. So you see, the animal park is very important, and we have to do everything we can to try to save it. Sophie. Hey Carmen. I missed you at bowling. <gasps> Was that last night? I'm so sorry, I completely forgot. Chloe has me working around the clock to save the animal park. Well, maybe next time. Call me when you get some free time. Uh, aww. Hey, that was completely uncalled for. Looks like you dropped your clipboard, litter fly. <laughs> oh, count to ten. One, two, three. Hey Goya, so sorry to drop by unannounced, but I just need a place to hide out. Chloe just has me doing so much stuff for this animal park that I'm completely burnt out. I mean, can you believe I ate three pies today? One, I can totally understand, but three? I have no time for my friends. I completely forgot about bowling with Carmen. I haven't seen Cleo in forever, and I find myself avoiding Chloe. My sister. I don't want to avoid her, but I just know that every time I go to her, she's going to ask me to do something. And I'm just so tired. <laughs> hey, your bed set is cute. It's like so many Mouse. Okay, back to my point. But don't get me wrong. I really like helping out with this animal park and helping my sister and everything. It's just that every day... It's like the exact same thing. It's sign the petition, sign the petition, sign the petition! And I've just got to start doing things Sophie style. Ooh. I know. I should be saying all of this to Chloe. So, thanks, Gulia. Thanks for listening. <laughs> you know what? It would be really nice one day if I understood what you were actually saying. Sophie, where have you been? I need at least a dozen more posters. The green team has been tearing them down. Sorry, Chloe. I'm just a little postered out. I was hoping we could come up with some new ideas. I didn't want to say anything before because I knew this was your project and everything. And I didn't want to step on your toes. No, it's great. I love that you like to use your creativity. Great. I didn't know how you were going to take it. For a minute there, I thought you were going to be all like, grrr. Sophie, does that even sound like me? I guess not. Ooh, Chloe, what do you think about a charity fall ball? Ooh, can it be a costume party? Of course, absolutely. Two heads are so better than one. Shh. So, what do you think? Abby is ready for the costume party. Oh, sorry, Abby. Nobody told you. We changed it from a costume party to a masquerade ball. But I've spent all day making the bunny ears. Oh, don't worry about it. It'll be fabulous. Trust me. All my ideas come out to be fabulous. Oh, well, gotta go. 
Alright, so I already called about the food, and it cost me a little more than I planned on. Like, how much more? Well, about 80% of our budget. Sophie, we still haven't even found a place to have the ball. I know. But don't worry, we'll figure it out. Maybe we can get Operetta to do the music for free. And I can ask my mom if we can have the ball in the old family barn by the park. Sophie, do you mean the one that smells like chickens? Yeah, but, you know, don't worry about the smell. Besides, a little chicken smell never hurt anyone. And maybe we can just cover it all up with potpourri. Well, we're going to need a lot of potpourri. Don't worry, Jade. It'll be fabulous. I mean, how can it not be? It's my idea. Hey, I've got to go get the door, so why don't you give Operetta a call? Shh. Hmm. This kitchen needs a change. Ooh. Time for a makeover. Hey, Mom. Did anybody tell you that your hair looks great today? Sophie, what did you do? I kind of spent all the money for the fall ball on food. Sophie, why didn't you stick to the budget we had planned? Well, you were all like grilled chicken and salad. And the caterer was all like caviar and pate. I mean, who can say no to pate? You should have. Okay, so maybe you're right. But now we still need a place to have the fall ball. And I was hoping... That you can use the barn? Yeah, how did you know? Boy, you are good. Come on, girls. Let's go see what shape it's in. Well, here we are. It smells horrible in here. Well, it is a barn. And I'm sure it'll look lovely once you girls are done cleaning it up. Wait a minute. You want us to clean this up? Well, we could have hired a cleaning crew, but somebody spent all the money. Have fun, girls. I'm off to the fabric store. Hmm. All right, Chloe, so I'm sure you have this all under control. Call me when it's done. Wait a minute. What? Sophie, I'm not doing this by myself. You are going to help. But, Chloe, I don't want to. Come on, my hands might get dirty. Sophie, do you want to have this ball or not? Of course I do. Well then, let's get to work. This barn isn't going to clean itself. Fine, but I think we should get some help. Now that's a good idea, because the work goes faster when there's more helping hands. Shh. Thanks everyone for helping out. Anything for the ladies, no? Well, if you all just need us at the barn, we can all get started. I'm going to go check with Sophie, and we'll be right over. Don't worry, girls. I know exactly how to ruin this fall ball. But I don't understand why we have to ruin it. Don't we all just want the same thing to save the animal park? Venus, whose side are you on? Listen, those litter flies are not going to save the park. We are. So are you with us? Or not? Of course I'm with the green team. Well then let's go. I've got a phone call to make. Ooh, sorry. Chloe, there you are. I had just enough money left over, after paying for all the food, for tables, chairs, and decorations. Great! And everyone's meeting us at the barn to help clean up. So as long as nothing else goes wrong, the fall ball is going to be fabulous. Sophie, Chloe, did you just cancel the caterer? No! Why? I just got an email from the caterer, and they said that they were keeping all your money because you canceled so close to the party. Wait here, I can call them back. Who would do such a horrible thing? I guess that would be us. The green team. Venus, how could you? But I didn't. Sophie, you gotta believe me. I didn't know that's what they were gonna do. But you knew they were gonna try to ruin the ball. And you didn't even stop them. Look, you should just quit while you're ahead, litter fly. For your information, my name is Sophie. Learn it. Love it, and remember it. And your bullying doesn't scare me. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not scared. Because there's only one of you, and there's four of us. Wait a minute, where's Spectra? Don't worry, Sophie. You just went from one to two. What? what? Sorry, Skye. I quit the green team. I don't want to be known as a bully. That's not what I stand for. Whatever, Venus. We're out of here. 
Yeah! Thanks, Venus. Hey, that's what friends are for. Sophie, the canner said it's too late to get our food or get our money back. Oh no, your fall ball is ruined. No, it's not. I can cancel the order for the tables and chairs, and we can make all the decorations ourselves. And we can use the money to buy groceries. And make the food ourselves. Exactly. Come on, girls. Let's get to work. All right. Y'all get to work, and I'll supervise. Oh, no, you don't. Aww. Come on, little chicken. Aha! Naveen is strong, no? Coming through! You know, I could carry two, if I wanted to. What are we going to use for the tables and chairs? What about those? They will be perfect for our fall-inspired ball. Thank you for coming. Please eat, enjoy, and give generously. All donations from tonight's event are for the animal park. Looks like you just don't know when to give up. I know, right? Sky, Luna, what is your deal? I mean, you want to save the animal park, right? Of course I do, and we will. Yeah! Then why don't we just work together instead of against each other? Look, everyone, it's time for us to take off our mask. Good. It is a crime to cover this face, no? Look around. We're not so different. We all have goals and dreams. And we deserve to be happy, even those who can't speak for themselves. So let us not find ways to tear each other down and instead find ways to build each other up. Let us stand up together for what's right and make this world a better place for everyone. That was so beautiful. Aw, thanks Naveen. I am going to buy the entire animal park. Wow, that's really great Naveen. What? Are you telling me we could have just asked you to buy the park in the first place? Uh, nobody asked. Ugh. What? What just happened here? I thought she would be happy. She is on the inside. Hyacinth, have you been causing trouble again? I go by Sky Carmen. Whatever, Hyacinth. I am going to tell Daddy. No, Carmen, don't tell Daddy. Ooh, you in trouble now. If you are feeling bullied, please tell a responsible adult. Welcome to the Prince of Bean Animal Sanctuary. With an eco-friendly community playground. I am the hero! Well, congratulations, girls. It looks like you got everything you wanted. Well, we couldn't have done it alone. I know, and Chloe, you were right. Everything was so much easier when everyone helped out. That's because we're stronger together. Girls, it's your father. Hey, hey Dad. Dad. Hey, girls. How's your day? Well, we just stopped a bully, saved the animal park, and pulled the community together. I can't wait to hear all about it when I come home. Smell so yucky every time you dirty the kitchen floor. Or I cannot believe what I saw. Little more prince nearby, puppy paw. I spotted and cleaned 